So if you're anything like me, you probably look at the support class in this game and go, why would I ever want to help my teammates? I'm trying to do damage. Well, I ain't gonna lie. For whatever reason, Mr. Compress, Mr. Jabberwocky himself, has some really great damage post level 6. I don't know what it is, but as soon as you go from throwing boulders at niggas to actually throwing trucks, the game gets so much easier. So, off rip, the first thing I'm doing is I'm leveling my A quirk up to level 6 so I can do a really good job of, you know, mitigating missing all those rocks. And the trucks go pretty far as well. They're really hard to miss. They are so big in size. So, as you can see in this gameplay, the first thing I did was level my A. It's already level 9. And at this point, I am so ready for a fight. My teammates are already in one. And I'm running up this hill, trying to get as fast as I can. And the only thing I sometimes hate about the A quirk is that the arc of it may be a little off, especially on hills. So you, you may miss a few shots that you really feel like you should hit. But overall, it still more or less feels good to use. And then next up, we got this B quirk, which just throws up this shield that reflects any damage back at your opponent. And through this shield, I have won a lot of fights while just using it alone. At bare minimum, it deters people from shooting at you if they're smart enough to realize that, hey, I'm killing myself right now. If not, then they're going to take a lot of damage. You can probably see with my older videos. As I was dying before I knew what he did, I was just throwing, 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 not realizing, oh, he is bouncing it right back at me. No homo, though. Well, pause. What? Next, you got his Gamma Quirk, which is easily one of the best get out of jail free cards because it's a fairly short cooldown and it's relatively fast to activate. Before the um, the patch, it took a little bit of while to start up, but now it's instantaneous. You snap your finger and you're out of that hole. Like most of the time, I just zoom away, go, you know, heal up a little bit. Enemies are too busy chasing me down. I make it my heal off, and guess what? Now I'm turning the fight around on you, and I'm just dropping trucks on your head again. Mr. Truck Coon is a little fucking evil when he get on this set. But once again, I run away, and you can cover so much ground. And when you pair this with his um, special action, where you can like pocket your partners and run away with them, which I damn near never do. I'm not a team player. Um, oh man, you guys can make some great getaways. And so here, I'm just doing the normal, checking around, looking, because I'm thirsty for fights at almost all times, even with a support quote unquote support character I'm like I wanna fight so I see them running around the side and I'm trying to get some high ground which I'm probably gonna give up very rapidly because I don't care about positioning <laughs> that's why I'm ass yep how did I know how did I fucking know and I'm just tossing trucks tossing trucks of course Mr. Aizawa takes out my quirk but I get it back pretty quickly and just keep dropping trucks like I'm easily getting melted from the back once again, well, I am pausing too much today. But once again, the Gamma Quirk gets me out of danger. And most characters cannot keep up. I'm just back into the action again. Go heal. Back into action. And the trucks, though, which makes it even better in my opinion, is that it hits multiple enemies at once. And it does so much damage. Look, look at this. It's 74, 74, 74. And once again, enemies at range. I'm popping out my shield just to deter him from doing anything. And these are even good for taking out down opponents. Like three of them, boom, they're gone. And you know they're salty. So next up, I'm definitely leveling up my reflector because the reflector at max level is huge. And it's just, you can protect your team. Once again, I don't ever do that. But you can protect your team with it as well when they need to heal or making a pickup. And people just got to run up to you and fight you hand to hand. And most people don't want to do that. Hell, I'm probably like one of the people I see in the game who actively runs up on niggas and just tries to throw hands with them even though this is a, <laughs> a quirk based game and so i get surprised here and once again i just drop some trucks on his head i didn't even know i got this kill but drop a rock on his back drop that rock on him it is a very 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 beautiful process just to see when your team is helping you and you helping you and you don't even realize when your teammates is dead, you're like, oh, brother, I forgot about you, bro. Another thing that I've come to really love about Mr. Compress is that 
at no point in time do I really feel like I can't win a fight against damn near every character. Like, outside of maybe my arch nemesis Ida and sometimes Sugar Rocky to a certain extent, I feel like anyone I fight, I'm pretty much at a almost advantage on. Unless they're like hella far away across the map type shit. Like even right here. I run in, I see a lot of people fighting. I have no whims. I'm like, I'm going straight in. And I just start chucking trucks again. And I found I find me. I'm like, oh shit, it's me. And I didn't notice that somebody was actually behind me. But it did not matter because they didn't attack me. I'm sitting here trying to, <laughs> to use my Q. I started use my fucking A quirk and I didn't even have it. And just finish off two of the niggas' teammates. And I know he's mad. I know he's mad. And I got a very bad habit of like looting during a fight. But I'm thirsty as hell. I won't lie. Every time I see a, a level card, I don't even need it for real. I'm trying, I'm trying to take it. And so once again, down another person because it's just so easy to kill down enemies. And then my arch nemesis, Ida, he's on me. Ida. But luckily with Mr. Compress, I can just run. And I find myself right in front of another Bakugo. And Bakugo was compressed for me. It's an easy fight because he got to aim and I fucking don't. And then here comes Dobby. Like Dobby, my favorite character in the game still. I can just keep getting in and out of every fight. Like, I feel like I have little to no worries in most fights. And now they're all on top of the roof, just chilling. Not even knows where I'm at. I'm just raining trucks on niggas again. Hey, he's bouncing off my booty cheeks. I love the way he rides. Acting for tough on these hoes. I don't know what to do. But Mr. Myself comes out of nowhere. And we're having a jab walkie off. So this is pretty much America's Best Dance crew on top of the roof. And what do I do? Run like a bitch. <laughs> you do a lot of damage, then you run like a bitch. Go heal. Now, stupid me, I don't know why I'm in this bush. This bush, look, like it offers little to no protection at all. Hell, my moves are sticking out of the bush, and I get another easy free kill. I'm just like, oh, cool. Trying not to get killed by the Bakugo. Same time, trying to kill the down uh, Ida, because I hate Ida. And here I get caught just looking up in the air trying to get away and I get popped in my back in my cheeks. Oh man. And then for a second here I thought I was actually gonna live, but yeah. I don't know. My, my brain got too caught up on the fight that I forgot. I kinda need to go pick up my teammate and revive him, but you know. You get inside the action. Sometimes you just forget about everything else around you and you just want them kills. So, overall, what do I think about Mr. Compress? Let's see. So, his pros are pretty obvious, in my opinion. He has great escapes through his Gamma Quirk, can get in and out of fights very quickly, great damage post level 6 with his trucks. They can hit multiple enemies, just knocking them down and taking them out very quickly. His reflect can cover for so many weaknesses in your game and your team. They can easily catch opponents off guard and won't even be able to hold themselves. And being able to relocate your teammates at a moment's notice, which once again I don't do, but makes a lot of team fighting aspects a lot easier. So his cons are, for me at least, it's hard to hit his A quirk before level 6. Melee hero heroes, when you're not paying attention, become a little bit harder because his reflect becomes pretty much useless. But overall, what I say is Mr. Compress worth using? Hell yes. He is my favorite support by far and has such great damage, such great mobility that it makes a lot of the games a lot easier. 5k on a support. Let's go.